potential. Dobi Wan. Dobi Wan Kenobi. Thank you for the sub. 28 months. That man's dedicated to PGBC. Facts. Speaking of dedicated, these two guys are dedicated to the grind because we got ZD and Brownie teeing off in game one. Yeah. Brownie, this guy is the sickest show in NBA. Facts. By a significant margin. There's an out of approximately three shows. But he, but he is definitely the sickest. So I'm very interested in seeing what Brownie's going to be able to uh, pull out of his pocket and uh, see the magic tricks that he's going to be able to have. Yeah, and right now, ZD starting with his Wolf. He was telling me earlier he likes playing Wolf um, earlier in the bracket. Just because Wolf, I mean, is kind of easier to play than Fox. So he can get, or he can work less hard and get similar amounts of reward, at least for the earlier parts of the bracket. But Brownie is not a guy that you really want to sleep on. He's one of those guys where if you don't come up firing out of the gate full tilt early on, you'll lose stage control Smash and maybe by die. Kill percent, by the way. Yeah, he almost died that forward there just a second ago. Oh, oh my god, that would have killed but ZD <laughs> weathering the storm. Brownie has the jump art online. He's yeah. trying to get something. Maybe yeah, he's able to cross up so far away with the increased airspeed on that jump that the nair was safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's going all the way out there. Nice air slash. Oh my god. Oh, and the spike? No wow. spike. That was a very dangerous situation. Brownie thankfully getting hit with the wrong hitbox that ZD would have killed with. Yeah, but now shield arts online. So ZD being very smart to pummel a lot while he gets the grab to burn out more time on that yes. shield art. The more damage you take in shield, the quicker that duration is going to expire. He's not going to have shield in time to live that full tilt. Now smash mode. It's a very sticky situation. Now it's cool to go for it at low percent because you're less comboable, but at the same time, you re really want to use smash mode when you are in. Like you have stage control. You get your opponents back to the wall. They don't have anywhere to go. Because if they're if you're in smash and then you're in neutral, even stage control, they're just gonna run away until your your, your mode runs out and they don't have to worry about dying anymore. Yeah, now ZD is really just exploiting. Nice. Yeah, nice. And I'll oh. take that. You take those. Yeah, that's a, still a decent trade. Oh my god, ZD, are you gonna give him another spot? Relax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Charity socks out the wazoo out here. Yeah. Now that was decently for decently good for Browning in terms of being able to find a kill instead of getting blue smoke. Fortunately, he's not going to get too much damage off that counter. In shield mode, you, take, you do know that. Yeah, that's why he switches over to Buster. Ew! Damage. Yeah, he just gives a lot of damage. Medium damage. And Buster actually a long, his longest lasting mode. So he's going to be able to make the most of that for a longer duration of time. 87%! Nice forward tilt. Man, that was really brave from Browning just standing his ground in that situation. He knew that he had to find that sock somehow, so he's going to be able to take it with that forward tilt. And ZD died really early. He kind of hedging his bets there because he knew that ZD was going to throw out a hip-hop, so if he took a trade, you know, that oh. was a trade that he was willing to take. Yes, but now we got the buster online. He's going to try and extend his lead, and he gets one up tilt, putting at 46. And if he gets one more hit in buster, it's essentially an even game. You yeah. saw that down smash, though. He, he did want it. The down smash in buster is really, it, since it hits multiple times, it's really potent for brick and shield, potentially. And that's what uh, Brownie was probably banking on. Didn't quite get it, though. Going to go to speed mode, trying to get the most of this. Yeah, nice. Gets it. Now, he does get a little, a little bit more combo potential off of his aerials in speed mode, so he's going to use that to carry ZD off stage. He's not capitalize off of it, though. Nice grab. Get the parry to no punish. Damn, oh, this, this is scary. Even game. Oh, my God. I'm sure. He backslash like he a goes. madman. With the back air making the most of the fact that you're going to stick to that, that, like I was saying earlier, dog, you're in neutral. Smash mode is not the way to go because that makes you, at that last hit percent, so susceptible to dying to any move since it increases your own knockback that you take. Yeah, but can we talk about the bravery from Brownie going for a backslash right there? Because he knew that ZD was going to back here. He just didn't know that the was a, that, that was a good call. That was a good call. That was so brave from both of them. Yeah. <laughs> if he had a, a little bit of timing difference, then he would have certainly been able to KO yeah. with a backslash. That would that would have been such an explosive. That could have been a huge momentum shift. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, because... He hit his hands with that back air right there, too. It was just barely spaced. If he had pulled the trigger any earlier, that would have been it. Yeah. Because we all know backslash, when you get hit in the back of that, or in the back by that move, you take way more damage knockback. And in smash mode, you don't want to be near that. Yeah, shout out to the Mega Man shirt. I have the very same Mega Man shirt. I expect it. Let's go, Brown. I'm, Brown. I'm a Brown fan. Man, the classics. I'm a Brown fan. I've told it to his face. His Hulk is dope. Yeah. I told him on the mic, I told him to his face, his shulk is nasty, but ZD's wolf is looking a little nastier right now. Yeah, it's ZD. He's not gonna, he's not gonna let that go. Just, uh, I, was, I was trying to swap. <laughs> That's so going right back to Carlos, and that's a lot of damage. Yeah. Crazy thing is, when you're in speed mode, since it increases your fall speed a little bit, 
or your gravity more so. It actually makes it a little bit easier for you to get combo. So uh, it's a little bit inopportune for Browning. Oh, does not quite roll in and get caught by that smash. Off the situation, he's not going to go for smash yet. He's really smart. He's not at the kill percent yet, so ZD is going to uh, gonna have to fight Browning without smash mode. Very convenient for Browning. I've noticed he's about. not really going much for um, jump art in this matchup. Maybe uh, Wolf's air drift is just so much that he's just trying not to be up there in that air to air. Because you see, the moment he got his feet back on the ground, he was like, all right, I'm out of this mode. Speed, buster, yeah. get me in there. And on top of that, if you get caught in the air in, ju in jump mode, you take so much more damage. It increases the, the damage you take in that mode by such a significant amount that it's really not worth it if you do get caught. You want to be sure that you're safe if you're going to in jump mode, which is why he's trying to avoid so much Nice angle! Ooh. On that board tip. Taking that one right up in there underneath the back air. Amazing space by ZD. And he's getting the parries consistently, too. Yeah, when he parries really Shulk, there's not much I can do about that. because, yeah. um, And like, while it's not that great, it's, it's it's, not, his moves aren't that laggy, but they have so much startup. Exactly. And that's what makes it more telegraphed in terms of being able to parry. You know that it's going to come out at this specific time. He's in smash, using his smash mode, but he's not going to be able to put him. ZD into a precarious situation. And now, ZD's going to be able to hold on to the stock a little bit longer. That's a tragedy of Shulk. If you don't have smash mode and it's on, it's cooldown, then you're kind of biding your time until you get it back in terms of being able to even the game up because you can't really KO that reliably without it. Yeah, unless you get a very deep edge guard, but Brownie has been willing to go for those ever since he got hit by that one wolf flash early on. And he keeps himself in smash mode and he ends up losing the stock to the back air. Finds one with an upset. Now he's gonna have to. He still got so much more ground to cover. He's just not really able to find the kill for so long. And I think that was partially due to a little bit of uh, inopportune uh, Monado art management. Yeah, but this is the exact same situation that Brownie was in last game, and it ended up being extremely close. So if he gets his feet planted, especially while he's in Buster, it's still in the realm of possibility. But Buster wears off. Brownie's hopes maybe starting to wear off a little bit too because. Wait, never Damn. mind. Oh, but he I like grabs the ledge instead. Oh, and wow. In the smash mode, he died at 60% from that down smash because he was in smash mode. Took so much knockback. Yeah.